first there was a light, then there was a war light, then there was a war light weekly. Three man, skills and possibilities. Welcome everyone on the War Light Weekly first episode. My <laughs> name is Latnox and I'm here with I'm Shevengen. And, and that was so bad. <laughs> so bad it's good, and I'm Mr. Gentleman. Yeah, thank you for your cooperation and words of encouragement for me. Welcome every uh, everyone who are watching us right now. Uh, well, we are going to uh, say something about this very interesting and uh, also funny game. We'll cover some uh, subjects from the forum, we'll show some games, we'll be digging around and doing all other funny things. Yeah, well basically uh, as for introduction we, uh, we just have to uh, get you up to date with our uh, schedule. Uh, we're going to be not only analyzing the games, but we're going to be talking in general about uh, the routers. Uh, and in between, we're going to talk about other community events uh, or the forum. Okay, uh, so actually, I think we can start from the first uh, thing that we prepared. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, the first thing that we prepared is uh, forum news. Mr. Gentleman here uh, is a happy father, so sometimes he might be interrupted by his uh, lovely kid. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. <coughs> uh, okay. Okay, I have a um, dashboard updated or going. <coughs> so, <coughs> uh, would, what we would like to start from? Sha, uh, Shevingen, you prepared some news from forum. Uh, yeah. F first of all, I think uh, we uh, we should start with uh, JSA's last post uh, or, or last forum thread uh, okay. because uh, it's. Uh, I, I'm not sure about the quality of the thread uh, in itself, but I think it's uh, uh, the, the whole topic is kind of important and it has been very uh, more and it has been becoming more and more relevant. Uh, for the past few months, at the very least, since I came back, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, already on the stream right now. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, so uh, basically, uh, J JSA just uh, wanted to make some sort of a list of people who just cheat, uh, cheat the system, and uh, uh, we have a list of stallers and uh, the, what he called the recipients of thrown games, etc. Uh, and uh, I'm not really interested in pointing out uh, what what he focused on, uh, because he focused on uh, who deserved some one, who didn't deserve, etc. I really want to point out uh, the the main finger or the main feature of uh, the topic, and uh, that's of course be gaming the system. And uh, every good system should be prepared in such a way that it should not be gamed. Uh, and Currently, most ladders, uh, or both 1v1 and 2v2 ladder, <coughs> uh, are, are uh, managed in such a way that people can very effectively stall games for months if prepared, uh, if prepared correctly. Yeah. And they can get incredibly high ratings. And uh, just as a sh shout out, because I think I have said it many times, uh, we could very easily change the whole system just to uh, not allow expire, uh, expire, uh, games to expire, just mm -hmm. as it is in the real-time ladder. But uh, as Fizer said before, it was voted on by the community at some point. I, I wasn't here at the time. And uh, the other possibility uh, is, of course, uh, keeping the games uh, chronologically. So, for example, if you need 15 games, you will need 15 first games that you play. And, uh, of course, that produces some other problems because uh, some players uh, could be a dick and just see that they're, for example, your 15th opponent and then they could stall, uh, stall for a long, long time. Yeah. So that also produces uh, some other 
problems. And uh, more or less, I wanted to uh, give that uh, give that question to uh, or pose that question to anyone uh, that's that is listening to us. How exactly to fix that? Because I don't see a very effective system that would allow expiring games because it will be able uh, it, it will allow some sort of gaming uh, the system on some level uh -huh. yeah I get your point uh, I faced the problem of starting games by myself currently actually I'm playing uh, with the great Pulsius who even claimed that he will be starting the games as long as possible just to show how the system is uh, how the system have uh, have <coughs> some lags or gaps? Yeah, I, I'm not I, I'm not sure if I want to hate him or uh, applaud him because on one hand, of course, I condemn what he is doing, but on the other hand, being so blatant with his cheating, I think uh, people like him will encourage Fizer to change the system uh, sooner than later. Uh, so, uh, in 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 a very bizarre way, he might help the community in the long run. Yeah, of course, I'm, actually, I don't actually, believe that it's, it is his, his, his intent. So. Uh, well, I hope that this will work. Actually, I even opened my game against him at this moment. Uh, and you will see that uh, at this point <coughs> he is completely losing. He, uh, he has five income, I guess. Uh, and, <coughs> and now he's just running around the map and trying to survive as long as he can. Uh, okay, the game was fun, I just uh, moved this turn by turn to, to show how it looks like. Yeah, so uh, actually I was in the situation that I, uh, I was losing two games and I'm winning two games with Pulsius and with Zakatron, who is also on the Stalin list that JSA posted. And uh, well, I decided that uh, I will just surrender my games and maybe, I don't know, I will quit louder and wait for a better time. I'll try again, maybe next time we will have more, more fair opponents. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Um, well, this makes me bring up the question, should we all just have a giant stalling strike where everyone just stalls? I don't know, maybe this is the only way to, to get to the top of the ladder. I was actually so close, but... Uh, well, I, 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 I just lost I mean, my face. <laughs> yeah, I, I just uh, well, I, I sincerely believe in uh, some sort of gaming culture. Uh, so I personally do not uh, and will not stall, and of, uh, and I do not play in one versus one ladder for this exact reason because I don't see any point. I don't think that with my best play I could maintain a rating above twenty to fifty. For example, it would be very hard to maintain a long run. 2200 plus rating, unless of course uh, things changed si since my days on one v one other, unless of course there was some uh, some rating inflation. Yeah. So, By the way, uh, Gnufona is saying on the chat that uh, according to newest forums uh, information, Pulsius is an ad audience uh, alt. I don't know. Yeah, JSA if said that, but then Odin denied it. I don't really know. Uh, a lot about uh, Odin, or uh, uh, so I, I really don't. I really don't know. Well, if yes, I really don't then know how JC could know that. Uh, yeah, if yes, then I'm surprised that actually I was able to beat him because uh, from where I f thought or where I heard, he's a rather good player. Uh, for example, because of this uh, player versus world threat, right? But well, maybe that's right. But that's true. Maybe not. We don't know. <coughs> okay. I think uh, we can move to another subject, if you don't mind, guys. Uh, we've got uh, also interesting thread about the Illuminati clan. <laughs> yeah, so maybe. <laughs> a, 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 yeah, and maybe a short introduction because I'm not sure if you uh, bring up the the game I uh, I linked you uh, or the forum thread. It's already on. But base. Ba yeah, but basically, and people in the chat may correct me because I, I don't know all the facts, uh, so you can correct me right now. Uh, just a brief history. Uh, so Hidden Hand uh, bought a, a clan name of Illuminati and then he spammed a lot of invites. Uh, so he had like 200 plus, uh, 200 plus uh, members altogether. Yeah, I, uh, I was receiving his he, invites like every eight hours or so. So he was yeah. very busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, yeah, after that, uh, after after that, uh, he 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 was apparently dead at the very least, uh, according to the forum, uh, some forum thread, and then he resurrected. So maybe he's our new warlike Jesus, and uh, came back. To I hope nothing. not. <laughs> yeah, uh, and and, af uh, and after that, uh, he gave uh, uh, moderating uh, modding rights to some player in the Illuminati. And uh, they basically uh, kicked him out, and uh, and uh, I was invited, I think, a week ago or two weeks ago, uh, to something called the Trial of Illuminati, where they uh, invited all the clan leaders, and I, w I would like to put it in quotation uh, marks because I don't know why I was invited, but that's uh, not the point. And uh, basically. Uh, they had all this uh, structure where uh, he, uh, where hidden hand could provide witnesses or something or testify, and people would uh, uh, would vote on uh, his possible uh, his possible punishment in that on the team chat, and uh, it it seems uh, incredibly funny to me because uh, it, it was all about spamming invites and and that's it. Uh, unless, of course, I'm mistaken. So basically, the, the guys that were behind it, mm. uh, called the Mossad, basically stole the clan, uh, the clan from him. Then made the trial, and then used the trial to uh, legitimize kicking him out, basically robbing him of his I don't know what, fifteen dollars or twenty dollars. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but. Well, he, he gets what he deserved being, by being stupid and giving away modding rights to random people. So, uh, basically, I, yeah, I only I commented agree. that I mean, it's completely ridiculous, all, all that stuff, and even ri writing all those uh, walls of text just to get this, uh, again, I would, will put it in quotation marks, trial going. <clears throat> yeah, that's funny thing. Well, actually... Uh I don't know if the invitations... Did he stop uh, sending invitations because I had to blacklist at him to not receive any more invitations? I, I don't know, but uh, uh, as far as I know, uh, you don't really get any invitations on your main, uh, main screen. You will have to go down to clans and uh, click Illuminati to see if you have received yeah, any invitations. I was, I was receiving Unless emails. you are talking... <laughs> Emails, so ah, yeah. uh, okay, so th those off. are email invitations. <laughs> yeah, you can't ah, turn okay. off all the email notifications, like for example, force joining, end of the tournament, or client invitations. You, you can't just turn it off, you will receive it on uh -huh. your email box uh, regardless. So that, I, uh, that's okay, how okay. I knew how often he was inviting me. <laughs> uh, yeah, because pe people were saying that he was actually, he wrote or bought some software to spam those invites. Oh. Uh, I, I so now I definitely don't feel any pity for him even more. <laughs> if that's yeah, I, I really <laughs> don't care about this, and the, I, I only found it really funny that people found it so important to make such a big deal out of it. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and uh, maybe we could make maybe we, I will give uh, the link in the description so that people can read it uh, if they if they really want to. Sure, uh, we can do it. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for it. Uh, okay, I have it. Uh, we're going to post the link in the uh, Twitch TV chat. So if you really want to, you can go through all of it and uh, uh, decide for yourself if you really care about it. So Yeah. But, uh, fun, uh, pity you can't say anything in the game. You're not invited because that would be even funner. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, okay, now uh, let's move to other news, and uh, we'll choose a game to analyze. <coughs> um, yeah, again, uh, so um, which ladder would like to start from? Well, maybe just uh, very easily just start with one versus one ladder, and uh, let's get a brief overview of the one versus one ladder because uh, it, it will be very 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 short basically uh, in one versus one ladder we have two people who stole yeah. a lot Pulsius and Zakatron and uh, Dead Piggy in uh, third place Dead Piggy has been by far the most consistent 
one versus one ladder player in a very very long time. Uh -huh. And he's still uh, a good player. He lost some games recently, but despite uh, losing uh, one, two, three, four, five games out of eight, he's still in the third place. So I think that's something. <coughs> that's pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty yeah, good. I, 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 re I really think that uh, strategic one versus one template doesn't really allow you to get in the long run that uh, a, a very very high rating, just because you will get unlucky uh, sometimes. So a, a rating of almost twenty two hundred, uh, I think, is very close to best play on strategic one versus one. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah, there is of course always the factor of the luck, but I remember my games. Uh, against the Belzebub and how he just completely screwed me over the picks and uh, despite he, he he was he claimed to be cheating on some uh, st uh, some point he he was really a good player and most of his games he just won so well it is possible to get high rating over 220 but well yeah. we could show for, for a second just uh, the games of pulse is a great because uh, ju just the overview, uh, his games, uh, just click the show all button, uh -huh. and uh, just look at the ratings of people he defeated him. Yeah. He has uh, exactly 15 wins right now, and uh, except the game, uh, I don't think we should count the game against Palsy. Yeah, because, because Palsy uh, had uh, it, obviously won this game, and he's just surrendered. Yeah, and, and, and he, and, and he f <laughs> uh, f threw it. Uh, he, he has no, absolutely no wins against people who are rated over 2000. Yeah. And that really says something. Uh, so if you basically, it's not the Impala days where he basically had was the only person over 2000 and everyone else was like 1900. Now, if you want to be top 15, I think you have to get a rating of 2000 uh, or something mm -hmm. like that. And uh, if you number are fifth, in player first number, place. Player number 15 has uh, 2004 points. And it's master of disaster. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. 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 So uh, if you are in the first place and you have not uh, really won a game so far against a player rated 2000 plus, yeah, something is really deeply wrong uh, with the ladder because it really shows how easily anyone can get, uh, or almost everyone, mm -hmm. maybe top 30 or top 40 players. Yeah. I uh, could could get it. Exactly. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, I think we'd like to now cover one of the other games. Well, I also just confirmed with Ma Master there. Sorry? Yeah, I said I just confirmed with Master that his only real rating over 2000 he's playing against, besides you, Latnox, <laughs> is, uh, is being... Uh, it's been who? Sorry, again? Uh, hello? Hello, we just lost you, James. Uh, farming. It's Farman, okay. <coughs> yeah, yeah, we just go throughout his games. And that's how it looks like. Okay, uh, so. Ah, yeah, so we're about to cover uh, another game. Unless you guys would like to add something. Uh, I think that covers it. Yeah, okay. Why don't we but dig into the game now? <laughs> yeah, so yeah basically, one. one yeah, one verse one ladder is for noobs now. Yeah, basically that's what you can get from it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Good. Good to know. <laughs> okay. Um, I just posted on chat the game that we'll cover, uh, so you can guys open it if you want. It's the game um, Zekatron versus the Xihu. Yeah, so basically I want to talk a bit about Zakatron or at the very least uh, get to know him a little bit because I, I basically have not, uh, have not really played against him, I have not, have not really heard about him and he uh, got the, his second place in the ladder. I'm not sure how much he's stalling. Well, he's or, stalling uh, definitely not. a game with me, but... Uh, even though he had, he almost got me at a, at what at one point. And well, you can't get rating over 220 if you are uh, a noob. So he definitely has some skills. <coughs> yeah. So uh, let's uh, talk briefly about uh, uh, this game because uh, it, although it's not, it's not really uh, interesting, it might give us some insight into how Zakatron thinks uh, here. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, overall, uh, looking at his picks, uh, very, very standard, uh, very, very safe, uh, just going for uh, uh, South America, and uh, the order seems uh, quite okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, I th actually, I think I would pick basically the same if I were him. Uh, those are two safest pla uh, safest places actually on this map. Uh, with uh, there are no first room bonuses, so yeah, of course yeah. there there are some uh, some uh, uh, some uh, uh, some very small. E I've uh, it, it is a, a bit risky to pick it in Greenland. Uh, you could easily uh, get picks four and five. That's a, 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 a something uh, I wouldn't recommend. Probably pick number five in Southeast Asia is mm -hmm. uh, much more solid. Definitely. Uh, uh, actually, I have to say that I very like your comment about uh, Southeast Asia as a long-term counter for West Russia and uh, Scandinavia area. Uh, that's a nice idea that I will remember about definitely. Uh, uh, yeah, if you are afraid that your enemy can be here, just pick Southeast Asia, and you will counter him in like fifth, sixth, seventh turn. Uh, as far yeah, as I remember, course. you were the one who said this, right? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, f first was Piggy, but uh, both me and him implemented that kind of idea multiple times, uh, and uh, uh, not only us. Ma many, many people uh, did it. More or less, the map is built in such a way that the most efficient income is around uh, around uh, west Western Russia and Central Russia. So, on most templates, of course, not not always, but uh, on most starts, uh, you have to cover it one way or another. And sometimes you can have an aggressive counter, like for example, a counter from a wasteland in Caucasus or just just from Caucasus. Uh, but uh, more often than not, you can just pick uh, Southeast Asia, and uh, and basically it will give you a long-term advantage because uh, if if for example you have Southeast Asia over uh, two picks around Russia, uh, either it's uh, Scandinavia plus West Russia or West Russia plus Central Russia, mm -hmm. you will have at the very least two ways to attack mm -hmm. uh, the bonus, while they will have only one. Yeah. And that will put you in a decent advantage long term. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's uh, close a uh, short, I mean, quick look on uh, Krzychu Speaks, I think. Uh, well, yeah, he also put South, South America as one. And then, yeah. interesting combination Scandinavia plus Greenland. Uh, I think uh, I like this idea because, um, well, it's uh, rather unlikely for someone to pick Europe when you have completely safe income. Or, okay, uh, quite well, safe income, at least quite safe Greenland, because someone might be in yeah, but Russia. <coughs> yeah, you, you basically cannot pick like this, ju just because uh, your first pick in South America is not enough. And on Wargaming Life, I, I have uh, talked about it uh, dozens of times. Uh, just that you really cannot uh, rely on your first pick if you want to get uh, good long-term uh, scores against good players. Uh -huh. You really need to pick one and two in South America and Central America, uh -huh. or or at the very least, if you want, you could even try to counter it some other way. But still, uh, if you lose South America, you basically lose. If you got get your picks two, three, four, mm -hmm. or two, three, five, you're basically lost straight away. Oh, yeah, that's also right. That's uh, yeah, that's something maybe I would change. I would. I think I would also pick one and two, uh, South America, Central America. But I like his Id uh, idea about Greenland. <laughs> Sometimes it might work. Okay. Uh, so, do we want to watch all the game? <coughs> uh, not, not really. You can just uh, go quite quickly through the uh, f uh, first turns. Uh, on the second turn, he makes a very interesting. Uh, sorry, not another. Uh, but he makes a very interesting play in Central America. He uh, and th it's not such an obvious play. I'm not hundred uh, percent. It's probably correct, but uh, it's not obvious that uh, he just stays there and waits for Kshuhu to move and only attacks South America on uh, turn three. He just uses his uh, uh, his Central America uh, pick as a counter. He, uh -huh. he of, of course he didn't know that Kshihu had that problem with Greenland that he yeah. had uh, <laughs> and he's he had to very down it. in income yeah uh, I'm so just at turn 4 and 
Well, actually, who just got his green land, but was completely eliminated from South America. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I think yeah, that. It, you know, if, if you want to check if someone is a good player, you just have to search for uh, certain kinds of moves. And for example, that move, uh, no expansion in Central America, already suggests that he uh, has a good understanding of uh, the. And the dynamics in the position. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, despite oh. despite Cuba was his pick number six, he he just immediately um, no. predicted that his enemy will be there, and that was a good prediction. No, 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 Zac no, no. Uh, Cuba was his pick number one. By Zakatron, uh, Zakatron picked one and two in Central yeah, but America. But I mean about Krzychu, that uh, he he did. Ah, you were talking about Krzychu. Yeah, that. Uh, so well, he's also a good player, and uh, that was a, a good move by him to not expanding uh, South America. Because he will lose it immediately. <coughs> West Africa or wh wh wherever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was much too risky for him to expand there. Uh -huh. But well, the fact that he he let himself be uh, been eliminated from there, well. He yeah. Had, still. He had the first. No, he he didn't have the first move. But uh, yeah, he should run for it. <laughs> Yeah, ter turn uh, uh, ter turn four. Of course, that uh, of course Zakatron makes some mistakes. You can also see here turn mm -hmm. four. He uh, he should realize he has an income advantage, uh, or the very least some sort of income advantage because uh, uh, Krzychu couldn't finish uh, two bonuses. Mm -hmm. At the very least, I don't see how. Uh, if if for example he would have yeah. Southeast Asia plus East China, he would have to risk his. Uh, first, uh, f uh, first bonus, or not finishing his first bonus to, uh, to uh, complete East China on the next turn. So, uh, I think he should have attacked first, uh, first move here. Yeah. Um, okay, and then uh, Z Zakatron just needed to wait safely in Sc uh, Scandinavia and expanding into next bonuses, and the game was basically over. In the moment, Krzychu was eliminated from. Yeah. South America. <coughs> yeah. So basically, my impression is that he's a good player, but definitely not twenty-two hundred plus. So I would really, really expect him to drop down significantly uh, very soon. Mm -hmm. At the very least, when when he decides to surrender in some games. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so that's about this game. Uh, next thing we should like to talk about is uh, Clan League by Chris CMU. Well, uh, maybe let's uh, let me tell something about whoopsy dopsy about the idea. Just my uh, browser crashed, but I f I hope I can bring him back to life. Okay, <coughs> um, I will post the link to. The general map on the forum, and let me explain how it works. Well, we have uh, we have bro a crashed browser. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, <laughs> let's try again. <coughs> okay, we have uh, uh, a grid um, divided into 100 pieces and 20 clans. Each clan starts from five pieces, ra five random pieces of the map. And uh, each piece, to, to gain another piece, you need to uh, make a challenge against the owner, the clan owner of... Mm -hmm. uh, damn. Oh my, it just completely crashed. Mm -hmm. What a pity. Uh, okay, uh, anyway, you need to make... Uh, mm, you need to make a challenge against the clan, uh, clan owner, and what's interesting, um, every there are some templates, and uh, every piece contains a different template. So you can choose on what template you will fight, and with which clan you will fight. And the challenge can be made every uh, three days, and actually must be made every three days because if you want to make a challenge, uh, you are just losing your turn. If someone will attack you, uh, you need to defend by creating the uh, the game. And if you won't create the game, you're also losing by uh, by Volkover, of course. Well, uh, at this moment, I'd like to show you the standings, but for some reason, my browser just refused to cooperate with me, and I'm afraid <laughs> I won't be able to do it. 
uh, well, <clears throat> uh, maybe I'll just say about the standings because we can see the most part of the map. Uh, WG actually is winning. They have 16 uh, spots, 16 pieces. Um, uh, WM, uh, we are second. Uh, well, we had some bad luck. Uh, we also forget forgot about some challenges, and we lost like five or six pieces just by Valkover. So, yeah. So that was the main reason we uh, we are second at the moment. Uh, Chris also told me that um, because this season is uh, going to over soon, he will start a new season. Um, the new season will have. Uh, will have uh, some uh, some advantage uh, there will we won't he won't be using this Google spreadsheet anymore but because as you can see uh, there are some issues uh, I'm not the only one who have uh, who have problems with this spreadsheet uh, yeah, it's shit. <laughs> and there are also uh, other people who are saying that uh, sometimes they comments about the challenges are not displaying properly so he will. He want to pro um, prepare the whole website, and uh, another advantage, except uh, proper working of this, I hope, will be the fact that okay, now it just completely does what to cooperate. Will be the fact that um, uh, there will be uh, some real map, uh, maybe maybe Earth, maybe something else, not just a grid. So if uh, some clan leader is not decided yet to join. We c he can still do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, well, that's interesting uh, event. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, we should uh, remember about uh, remember about it or think about it. Um, and also from some clan leaks uh, or things like this, we've got um, the twenty leak. Um, I would also like to show uh, one tournament. Uh, it's the 20A league, <coughs> uh, because um, well, um, all those 20 uh, guys, do you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yes. sorry, because uh, you, I didn't hear anything from you, so I was just wondering yeah. if my Skype well, well, also maybe, broke. maybe before we move on to 20, we yeah. could comment a bit about the clan challenge league. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly uh, how active are the players. I, I was at the very beginning very skeptical because there's also the standard clan league and the most, uh, at the very least, most uh, good clans have a, a limited, limited number of players so not all of them, uh, I think, would be able to play in multiple events at the same time. Uh, also, the challenge system is uh, very binding that you really have to be able to uh, give uh, to, to have a player to uh, play the challenge at any point. Uh huh. So, how active are the the clans right there? Uh, well, if we are talking about the uh, clan league created by Chris CMU, uh, well, they are quite active. Uh, it's actually not uh, not so often that someone forget to make his uh, make his games. Well, um, there was some clans that decided to join uh, to this league, but uh, but they 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 surrendered after like two. Two, two turns they decided not to play anymore and that's why we had some uh, we had some uh, wastelands on this map as you could see uh, well uh, so not, not not many clans actually are decided to participate in this clan league which is a pity because it's very interesting uh, event I think uh, but there is also second clan league the more official uh, con that contains uh, only tournaments. Well, it's hard to say anything uh, about this league because it just barely started, or actually didn't start it yet at all. Uh, well, um, in I'm uh, I'm playing in two tournaments, I think, and two tournaments started, but yeah, it's hard to say anything more. <clears throat> so um, yeah, so uh, would you like to hear something else, or uh, should we move to the? Uh, next subject. Well, I am satisfied with that clan challenge league. Okay. So. Yeah. So um, so I'd like to um, if we were talking about uh, the twenty league, uh, I would like to maybe say uh, something about the twenty A 
league because there are three leagues, 20A, 20B, 20C, and there's also proving grounds, which is not exactly, uh, mm, which is not exactly clan league, uh, which is sorry, not exactly 20 league. It's just like uh, uh, sem uh, semi league or s or uh, something like this. Uh, well, for people who just would like to participate but wasn't considered as good enough to, to participate in their real 20 league. Uh, but uh, I have opened now 20A tournament. Uh, and um, yeah, maybe before we comment, we should uh, uh, tell people in the chat to uh, write their potential favorites if they uh, see the. Uh, the one twenty a one v one because uh -huh. there there you can you have the list of players that participate in uh, the A League of twenty and maybe they can uh, tell us who are their favorites and after that we will move on to uh, our discussion of the A League. Uh, well, yeah, unfortunately we've got some delay between what we are saying and what people are people are hearing. Uh, yeah, I know. But uh, yeah. Uh, we we can s say what we think. Uh, in the meantime, they can also write their predictions. I think. <coughs> uh, well, okay. Maybe before we start talking about the predictions, I would like to just say who is winning on this tournament now. Um, well, from where I see, uh, uh, that that piggy is actually winning. He have four games won and zero games lost. Lost only. Teaminator has won game one, and uh, rest of the players have both lo lost and won games. So uh, yeah, so it looks like that piggy is is winning. Uh, well, Fra it's very uh, very early in the tournament, so uh, of course he is one of the favorites, but it's very very early. Yeah, Frank said something about Grona. Well, Grona didn't finish any game yet, so yeah, so basically he don't <laughs> lost any game, but he didn't won any game either. So Frank, uh, it's not exactly like this. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, before we started, you asked me uh, about uh, my general opinion about twenty, whether it's a league or a clan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because and it's a good uh, question. Because, for example, uh, Fridge actually he's uh, in the twenty clan and he's controlling the VM clan remotely uh, by an alt. Uh, so. People are start, uh, so also Gnufone is thinking about moving to the twenty. I hope it's not a secret. Uh, and people are also starting to. Is. Sorry. He already is in twenty. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So uh, so that's why people are starting to wonder not only from my clan but from other clans as well. Is it actually league or is it clan? Because when it was created, it was to be rather a league. Um, and yeah. Well, all the tournaments, right? It's uh, it's not a yeah, invitation to a clan. Yeah, initially. Yeah. Yeah, initially it was supposed to be the same as proving ground, but f only for the best players with the, the same system with people going down from the A league to B league and from the B league to A league after one season, depending on the results, etc. However, it proved to be uh, much much tougher in practice because people uh, didn't have enough motivation to play very long tournaments like that because uh, one versus one tournaments uh, around robins like that are. Uh, even relatively uh, quick uh, in comparison to two v two and three versus mm -hmm. three round robin tournaments. Yeah, uh, yeah. For example, of, of that level. For example, uh, if we'll take a look on other tournaments of uh, twenty league, uh, we can see that, uh, for example, three v three, which is uh, on Ursaluna. This is a very interesting map. Have no game finished yet. <laughs> it's the same on twenty b. No game finished yet on this tournament. Yeah. Anyway, uh, when the clan system was introduced, uh, we uh, made the 20 clan, and uh, basically everyone who was before associated with 20 uh, was invited, and and most of the people who uh, uh, who who we played with on a regular basis. Uh, so, uh, because not not everyone in the 20 uh, is a top 20 player in the game right now. Uh, however, most people in the 20 always get uh, an invitation to the A League, uh, so it's uh, it's it's kind of a bit of both. Of course, the point of 20 was always to organize those uh, high-level tournaments uh, uh, of 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3 for uh, for players to compete on the highest level. Uh, 
Uh, however, it's uh, just very convenient uh, in the clan form right now. Uh, we we also I invite uh, uh, a, f a few players from time to time. Recently, uh, we have invited uh, Summer and Waz to to twenty. They they actually have their own clans, so they politely declined. Uh, uh, but more more or less, uh, it sh it should be primarily considered as uh, as a league, because uh, that's that's the main point of the twenty to organize those those uh, regular tournaments or in uh, for 20 best players mm -hmm. okay so I think we've got this settled and um, okay with uh, people on the chat are asking how long are we going to uh, to to do our show uh, well I hope to to close in one hour so um, I think we should move to uh, cover another game because we'd like to cover one more game and yeah. Uh, oh, al also we we were to uh, give our predictions. My my personal prediction oh, uh, will not change. I pr I will go I'm going to predict Terminator to win the whole thing. Uh, yeah. And uh, what are your prediction, guys? Predictions, guys. Uh, well, hmm. Uh, I would vote for that piggy. <laughs> but then uh, it's not only one v one. It's only it's also two v two. And, uh, sorry, you mentioned about the fact that you can't play with the same teammate in uh, 2v2 and 3v3 3v3 uh, tournament. <coughs> yeah, then it would be kind of unfair. Uh, uh -huh. In the first, uh, in the first uh, 20 league, we ha we actually had a completely different system. We actually initially voted people into uh, 20, uh, and we had. Uh, I was I was actually uh, voted uh, at the almost at the last place. And uh, I think I was like 17th or, or 18th, and uh, we basically had the system for if you, for example, the, f the first player would play with the ninth and the uh, sorry the tenth and the twentieth, the second player would play with the uh, ninth player and the nineteenth, mm -hmm. etc., etc. Uh, and we did like that. Now, now it's if just from a practical standpoint, we just allow anyone to pair up with anyone with that exception that you cannot really have uh, the same teammates in multiple tournaments because it wouldn't be uh, fair because y y you tend to know who are the better players in those tournaments. Yeah, maybe. By the way, Timinator said that now he feels pressured because you said that he's going to win. <laughs> well, Tim, you'll, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, and gentlemen, who are you predicting to win? Hello? You're with us? I, I, at least I heard his kid, so I guess he is with us. <laughs> Unless his kid absorbed him too much. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're just... He has invaded my brain and he speaks for me now. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what's happened. I'll also yeah. have to vote for Dead Piggy as well. In the... Really? I really don't know why yeah, you are voting for Dead Piggy. I think he's... A little bit unorthodox enough to throw people off, and you know these things, you know, are usually separated by like a few games. So I think I think he might just squeeze by. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe he. I, th I think he will be very high. It's not li like I'm going to predict he's going to be in the bottom half. But uh, personally, I would even uh, I would even think that. Uh, that the Warlight Master would be higher than uh, that Piggy if we count all of the games. Um, may maybe Frank. I, I don't know. Well, we'll see. I, I yeah. was extremely surprised last season. I was never going to predict Michael to win. I'm still completely shocked. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, th those uh, ABC leagues are very tight and very equal so actually each player have uh, quite similar chances to win and it's hard to tell but that was the point well actually. that's that's actually not true that's actually completely not true that each player has similar chances to win well, okay maybe not exactly each player but I, I i think that those leagues are quite equal and there's no not a big skill difference between the best player and the worst player in each league will you agree with it sure I, w I will not agree with okay. it completely, <laughs> uh, and I will play next season so that uh, uh, so that uh, uh, I, c I can. I, I think that the next season will be 
even more competitive than the last two seasons. Uh, so I, w I will uh, play in 28 the, the next season in the, in the next few months. So mm -hmm. okay. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's let's move to uh, to the next thing that we prepared. It's uh, game analyze. Um, it will be a seasonal seasonal games this time. A uh, game between Kilo Zayo Deck and Banana Shake. I don't know if I pronounced his name right. Uh, yeah, because uh, because Newsflash uh, Kilua actually uh, won the seasonal ladder. We can have another s uh, short poll. People in the chat can uh, vote on who they think it is because uh, I think everyone knows that it is an alt alternative account. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and they can vote for who they think it is. Okay, I just posted uh, a link to the game, so people yeah. might. See, okay, well, uh, I think we'll uh, back to this uh, idea after the show, or at the end of the show. So, uh, vote your ideas about who Kilua Zayotek is, why yeah. we will and I, yeah. say something. Yeah, and I actually, I actually picked this game because I really liked uh, that player's te technique in the game. And uh, uh, I, I think we, we don't really need to even uh, analyze the picks because... Uh, the picking stage and what they got is not really that important, but uh, I will just I just want to po will, uh, I will want to point out, point out a few uh, very interesting uh, points and uh, uh, how safely he played and uh, how well he realized his positional advantage. Uh, so we should just go. Uh, we should just see what happened right after the picks. Okay. So. Uh, uh -huh, um so we are not going throughout the picks. Yeah, I don't think so. We we, we can just go. Uh, I'm just searching for uh, for the game in my browser. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the first turn. Well, the first turn is not really that uh, that interesting. Just uh, very very uh, a nice expansion. We can uh, uh, just uh, look briefly at that Freysia counter for uh, Illyricum. Uh, I, I personally don't really like Guiroma that much, mostly because of the Illyricum, because on many temp on many distributions it uh, is a game breaker. Uh, if you have it, but then try to hold it <laughs> and get it. <laughs> yeah, of, 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 of course, of course. Uh, we, we can see on the second turn how uh, safely uh, he plays. He just uh, attacks Greece just to... Uh, have a foothold there, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, after oh, wow. that, it's very <laughs> very clear. It's very very clear that he has a positional advantage. Uh, ter ter he doesn't really risk elimination anywhere, and he goes uh, towards Traconensis. It's it's just uh, it's not a very flashy game. It's just a very good positional plan mm -hmm. that completely eliminates any kind of banana shakes counterplay. Yeah, I, uh, I like with very small doses of prediction. Mm -hmm. I like and his position uh, in Syria. It's very safe, and despite uh, it looks like a long term it, bonus, uh, well, it's good place to be because if we'll back to uh, to picking stage you can see that there's actually almost nothing that can counter Syria so yeah yeah that was, was ni yeah. a nice idea yeah after after all that I mean uh, I, I, th I think turn five is very interesting because he just decides that if he gets one more bonus he will have a huge advantage and he just goes uh, uh, for Freysia and uh, uh, and th that that's a, that's a, a very uh, yeah it, it's really uh, very nice to see such good technical play uh, because uh, it, it shows just steps A, B, C, D mm -hmm. up with him from a superior position and it, it was not as obvious that he has such a superior position but the way he played it uh, he, uh, he he just uh, showed all the steps how to win a game yeah there was absolutely no counterplay for Banana Shake all game uh huh Panashik was trying desperately to uh, hold Rome, to not uh, have yeah. tra Traconesis broken, yeah. or maybe get Illyricum, but... Yeah. Uh, around turn 8 we can just finish the analysis, because uh, it's obvious that 13 versus 10 income is uh, more than enough in that position. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, basically I wanted to emphasize those first 5 turns and uh, uh, the fact that... I, uh, that uh, Th those are the kinds of moves that a very good player uh, makes. Those are the kinds of moves that uh, can't really randomly pop up. So, 
uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, to look at the chat right now to see who are they thinking right now. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, of uh, course, Frank is uh, is confessing <laughs> that this is his account, like uh, the previous ones. <laughs> well, he he <laughs> want <laughs> looks like he want to have an opinion of someone who has all the accounts. All accounts are mine. <laughs> no, it's not like this, Frank. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh, so actually there is a poll for who's out is Kilwa uh, Zoldiek. Yeah, created by Great actually, Lucius. Yeah, and uh, uh, some people vote for Gui, uh, some people vote for Paul C and Odin, one person vo voted for Michael, and Krzychu and Fridge are, uh, are uh, also su some suspects, and uh, most people uh, vote for others, so maybe they had uh, another idea for that. Uh -huh. uh, well, it's got to be laws. I mean, that's who I think it is. Yeah, yeah oh, like, like we said after maybe. tonight, it's just <laughs> <laughs> running <Maybe. it> around. <laughs> or maybe hidden hand could be him too. <laughs> oh come on, don't make me laugh. <laughs> Yeah, or it could be me, who knows. <laughs> they will include me in, in, yeah, in, maybe, in the poll, but nobody... Maybe you are the others <laughs> that they were voting on. <laughs> no, no, actually I was included in the poll, but nobody ah. voted for me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, you also mentioned before that uh, we basically know who will win the Ladder? Yeah, because because um, both Master of Disaster and the Kilua were the only uh, people who actually had a shot, and uh, they both finished twenty games, so nothing will change there. And uh, Kilua wins with a sixteen to four uh, win ratio, oh. and Master of Disaster is very unhappy because he had actually seventeen to three win uh, win rate, but oh. he had a little bit. Uh, uh, Lower rated opponents. You have 20 points less than Kilo. <laughs> Kilo. <laughs> so, yeah, That's I think that's also <laughs> bad. <laughs> yeah, well, there's always next season, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, I screw up the season a little bit because uh, I went to vacation and I forgot to rejoin and I started from 120 place and <laughs> I got all the noobs. So, <laughs> I don't think I'll be <laughs> higher than 50. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, actually. Uh, the pairing system and this is another uh, are far from ideal. Uh, for example, uh, Fatih Sultan Mehmed, or at the, at the moment uh, he's called Ottoman Emperor, also joined the seasonal ladder, oh. and he had around I, I think he had three losses. He had also like seventeen to three or or eighteen to two record, uh, but he was paired against much lower rated players, and he's I don't know in. Hundredth place or something like that. Yeah, oh, he's very, very good good low. I'm, I'm, I'm going to. Oh no, he's, he's actually in twenty fifth place, and he has a record of, uh, of seventeen to one. So he has seventeen wins and one loss, uh, and uh, and he has two games to go, and he's in place twenty five, and he never could do anything more just because he was paired. He joined late, and he was paired with. Uh, lower rated opponents yeah. so uh, so basically uh, basically if you join late I mean very late like, uh, like me. four, four, four <laughs> games four games or five games already played you cannot go for first place yeah well uh, still you, you, you will get some experience if that's what you want well that is what I wanted because I was lacking one, uh, one level to change my name finally well, it was a funny story. Uh, I've changed my name just before moving yeah. to WM and I had to stick with the Lynx label. Well, I like Lynx Clan. I greet you guys if you are there. But yeah, it was funny when I was in uh, WM while having the Lynx label next to me hold it the whole time. I was like walking commercial. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> and there is... Um, uh, last thing, I think, the last thing that uh, we would like to do. Um, there's a new map, uh, and I think that will be 
our habit to uh, to set to cover a map if it will be interesting map uh, Europe 2.0 created by the Ra uh, Ra is considered as one of the best uh, map maker and uh, yeah he proved it a lot and he's proving it again with uh, his new Europe to zero map uh, if you guys can maybe uh, why don't we open the map <coughs> and we can say something about it why what it's so what what's dif the difference between the previous Europe and this Europe why do we like it or why we don't like it yeah I have actually quite a few things to say about uh, uh, any, any Europe map but uh, this one in particular mm -hmm. uh, well basically Europe to zero is based upon uh, a, a, right now an old uh, Europe map called European borders uh, and European borders was based on, on the old Europe by troll but it was a very big map it also included uh, more of Russia it also included parts of Africa and uh, at the very least it was intended for a four versus four games uh, but it never caught up uh, because it was a very big map, a lot of bonuses were very efficient and uh, it was just a clusterfuck to be honest uh, in most of the games. Mm -hmm. And uh, Europe to Zero is a huge improvement on Warlight bo uh, sorry, on, uh, on European borders uh, just because it reduced, uh, he reduced the size of the map and I think he made a few different connections uh, I believe, and also he yeah. uh, gave up on a few bonuses. For example, there was a bonus in Scotland, but he removed it, a very good decision. And uh, I already have a quite a big template for free versus free right uh -huh. now. Uh, my, uh, my settings for free versus free that I will recommend is to first of all normalize the, all the bonuses to uh, income, uh, income to, for the income to be equal to the num number of territories minus two. Okay, so and that's, that's quite important. It's because, similar to uh, it's similar to Europa then. Yes, that's very, very similar because uh, on that exact map, if we uh, if we uh, are seeing it uh, on the stream, uh, the two bonuses are heavily overpowered. Switzerland, Denmark, and Eastern Spain are uh, uh, much too good uh, for this map. Uh, not not because they are so efficient in terms of. Uh, in terms of uh, in income territory ratio, positional but because advantage. of uh, yeah, a positional advantage. Switzerland is not as good on, in classical Europe because Austria is very good, so it's not as easy to uh, to get it. Mm -hmm, but uh, in this, on this template, it. Austria have plus three from five territories. So yeah, so us, Austria is uh, is is much worse here. Uh, and uh, my personal recommendation is to normalize all, all the bonuses. Uh, two number of territories minus two mm -hmm. that creates a very in interesting imbalance because it is biased towards uh, towards bigger bonuses obviously uh, because they have better income territory ratio however with lowered income it's uh, not as easy to uh, to take it also since there are more bonuses uh, then although the number of territories is the same the map gets bigger in terms of uh, positional play because mm -hmm. we have more bonuses to cover so i actually play played with wastelands uh my settings w were 15 wastelands of three uh however it is also possible to play with 10 or 12. yeah obviously. and i lowered the income to uh to four so uh the base income to four oh. so uh I, I really think it's a very very good very fun template uh, I don't think it will replace uh, it will replace uh, classical Europe for free versus free. I still prefer, prefer the old Europe. Uh, I am very uh, may, maybe an op open uh, open invitation for a anyone to try and make a two versus two template here because uh, I am a kind of reluctant to make a two versus two here just because the map got that much bigger yeah, because of uh, the think... division of bonuses mm -hmm. and uh, probably the only two versus two template I would think it might work would be with bigger wastelands not wastelands of three but wastelands of for example five okay uh, sorry uh, to interrupt you for a second but uh, yeah. uh, there's interesting topic on the forum going on uh, well uh, the funny thing is that H uh, was working on very similar map uh, also Europe 
uh, also with additional uh, connections, also with change bonuses. Well, I've played on his map um, a couple of times while it was still in the developed uh, uh, section or in the developed uh, place, yeah. But uh, eventually he didn't finish it. So Fritz, shame on you. Uh, now I hope you feel pressure to uh, finish your map. Uh, uh, I, it was very f uh, very funny to play on it, uh, but yeah. He Wasn't his map much much bigger? Uh, no, not much bigger. I would even say uh, smaller. Okay. Or no, similar. Sorry. Okay, let's say it's similar. Uh, we've played on his map uh, on three v three and worked fine. Uh, yeah, but he said that uh, Fizzer had just some. Uh, um, some uh, some things to say about uh, some bonuses. They were too small, so two dig two digit numbers could it uh, could it match their pity pity. I hope you will uh, you will uh, make those changes, and uh, we will see your map maybe even in the next week. <coughs> okay. Um, so um, let's see what the Okay, I think we can move to the the thing that we said we'll um, cover or um, um, or s or recover. S we will we should say who the Kilua Zaliodek is, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's see the. The chat. Uh, um, yeah. The, I the don't think people report. made a lot of predictions here. Uh, Mostly people said that they are Spartacus, making a very dated joke. Uh, yeah, I really don't see many people uh, going for it. Uh, yeah, I don't. I didn't see so uh, anyone making some serious uh, predictions either. Well, if it's about so, so what, what are what are your predictions, guys? Well. Actually, it, mm, it's kind of uh, um, I don't know, maybe Czech kind of name or something like this. So I would maybe vo vote for uh, Zareban. Uh, there is a guy like Zareban is Czech. No, no, he's Zareban not from Czech. Czech. He's from um, oh man, I forgot where he where he's from. Um, not Ukraine, not Slovakia, something like this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, mm, but that might be him, anyway. Okay, uh, gentlemen. I'm gonna go with Frank. <laughs> <laughs> you think he was really? telling the truth <laughs> for the first time? <laughs> ah, hiding in a plain sight. I'm gonna so go for yes. it. I'm gonna uh, go uh, for uh, the uh, truth. Uh, here. Yeah. is from uh, yeah. um, Croatia. Thank you, Malmut. Uh, okay. Horvatia, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna go go with any predictions because I actually know who Kilua is, and I'm not going to spoil it. Okay. So when it comes to the poll, well, most people voted for others. Twenty-four people most voted for others, and the Gwei was uh, as the second. He got six votes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we should move on uh, to the next, and uh, I think last topic, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I don't know if you want to cover last game or not, because well, actually, we ran out of time. Uh, maybe we'll leave the game for the next week. What do you think, guys? Yeah, we should just. Uh, well, yeah, but we should just cover overall what happens in the runners at sure. the release. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can go over that real quick. We want to yeah. start with the real time or. Uh, well, if you, if you, I don't really know much about two v two other to be honest, so I don't have any input on that. Uh, yeah, well, um, me and the fridge are going for the first place. <laughs> we are just lacking one game to to be there. We have already rating over two thousand. Uh, well, unfortunately, um, it's not super high because we didn't had uh, strong opponents. But uh, yeah, but we we are hoping to <coughs> at least be on the first place for some time. Are you stalling any games mm, right now? Um, maybe let's <laughs> move to another question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> let's move to. Uh, okay, so do we have anything else about the two versus two other that's worth saying? Uh, well, I, I really don't regard the two other as a great topic, so I'm not really. Um, well, uh, there's uh, 
there is let's say who's at the, who's first at the moment at the moment uh, on the first place we've got Timon and the Panda they are f both Polish players uh, congratulations to you guys and they are holding tight f uh, for some time now yeah um, we've got also some interesting players like Pulsi and Pulsi on the third fourth place uh, Ultra uh, Ult Ultima Ratio and Timinator. Uh, what's interesting, they're just dropped down to eighth place. Uh, I I was hmm, I think they're good players, but I uh, I don't know maybe they didn't have the luck. Okay, uh, so yeah, I don't think that there's any more to add about two v two ladder. Unless you want to say something. Nope, uh, I, I think that my end. covers it. Yeah, <laughs> we could just ignore Frank and GSA being two. Let's just make sure to leave that out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. Mm, All right. So. Well, did you want to cover anything else, or? Uh, what about the real time ladder? We didn't say anything about the real time ladder yet. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we can, we can talk to say about, something about it. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, not much uh, Since he has owns it. Uh, happened, <laughs> yeah. to, be, to be honest. Uh, well, I, well, actually, I uh, w uh, when I got uh, my first place and I got uh, quite a significant uh, uh, rating advantage over the second place, uh, I kind of lost motivation and started playing some bad games. And at one point, I was ve uh, I was very very low at twenty three, uh, twenty something. And then uh, Zibik and uh, Waz actually attacked the first place, and actually they both of them managed to overtake me for a few hour uh, a few hours. Uh, so actually both of them managed to get first place. Uh, however, actually uh, I did not know that uh, uh, b uh, before last week. Actually, to get the trophy, you don't uh, uh, you don't only have to get first place, but you actually have to get it at a, a certain point of the day. Uh, when when uh, when we have the play players' profiles, there are those dots that represent uh, a certain day uh, when uh, when the other is recording, and uh, you actually have to be uh, in the first place for a full day for the worldwide to record uh, the whole day. Uh, uh, right now. Ah, so that's why. I didn't even never got points from ladder despite I was four for some time because uh, no, sorry um, because I was always um, sure. Well, you that don't get points for uh, for being in real time ladder. You only get uh, more points for the games. Oh, okay, yeah, because uh, yeah, I yeah the it's funny thing how this works. Uh, it's just enough to play one game and you are uh, during for three days on the ladder. Yeah, you yeah. have to play one, once per three days, mm -hmm. at, the, at, the, at least. Yeah. Or you'll drop out of the ladder. That's how it goes. Yeah. yeah that seems and to I also hard. should note that players who are like at 45 can join, and each victory of like a 50 player or something like that will net you about 20,000 points. So for those who are leveling up, might consider joining in the real-time ladder if you think you can win some games. Because you can cash in on some pretty huge point bonuses there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, overall, I definitely think it's uh, by far the best ladder at the moment. It has the only uh, unexploitable uh, rating system. You can st cannot stall games at any point. Uh, well, the only thing you can is uh, you can... Uh, at, uh, or at least partially pick your opponents, but mm -hmm. you can't really do much uh, about it because uh, you don't really want to play uh, low low rated players. I actually want to pick as high rated players as possible. Uh, exactly. and so I actually try to avoid very low rated players because some of the templates are more luck based. For example, Turkey local deployments. It's pro uh, th this this plant template is probably the one that will go. Uh, around the next update, in my opinion. And as far as the real-time ladder is concerned, well, I'm going to try and maintain first place as, for as long as I can. And my predictions uh, for the future, I expect Timinator to get a higher rating that uh, he has right now, because he, uh, well, he, he, he plays very 
I don't know, I would say distracted because he got a few uh, boot losses. And uh, yeah, as, I, as I well as only... Fridge. <laughs> Fridge said on yeah. the chat just that he got five boot losses. <laughs> yeah, shame on yeah. you, Fridge. Should be more careful. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> that's uh, the worst. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, and I, I, I would actually expect was to go down a bit, because uh, and eventually I would think that uh, Terminator and uh, Ottoman Emperor, New Phone, Zibik, all, all of those Emperor? players should. Uh, yeah, Ottoman Emperor is playing very, very solidly. He was uh, a top player when he quit, and uh, right now he's just, uh, you know, d uh, w what's the expression? I mean, he's just kind of what? been charging through the ladder since he joined it. Yeah, yeah. Right now, he probably has uh, more more free time, and uh, he, he is a formidable opponent uh, in any format. So mm -hmm. I would I would still expect uh, Ottoman Emperor, Terminator, New Phone, Zibik, all of those players overtake Waz in the long run. Maybe uh, maybe even Summer and uh, one of the players that stopped playing altogether, that was pretty high rated, was the Warlight Master, who had uh, quite a decent run. Uh, I actually actually think that many, many players stopped playing or did not play altogether because the system cannot be exploited. Because in one versus one ladder, if you want to be uh, number one, you don't really have to be the best player. You can be a very good player and stall games. And here it's much, much harder to take uh, first place. Yeah, uh, well, and, actually... And, and of, of course, uh, if you don't, if you think otherwise, you are free to prove me wrong and take first place from me, so... <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I remember yeah. last time we played, you kicked my ass pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, but actually... Um, I, well, I'm still <laughs> playing uh, not, not, not at the level I would like to at the real-time ladder, so... I still made a lot of mistakes that I shouldn't have. So, uh, I'm, I'm definitely first place is definitely up for grabs if anyone really uh, focuses on the other. Yeah. Well, actually, I have to tell you uh, at the moment I have uh, over 2,100 rating, but <laughs> actually I have problems with catching uh, good players because every time I have a time and uh, I feel like playing real time ladders, there are only players over with rating over 2,000 and I just moving forward uh, like every 10 points. <laughs> but maybe... Well, one, one advice that I might uh, say is uh -huh. that uh, uh, for the uh, ELO system, uh, it doesn't uh, take the rating, it takes the, uh, the true skill mean, because the, the, uh, the rating in the ladder is based on the true skill system, because it takes the, uh, the raw rating, of uh, raw ELO rating, uh -huh. And then from this subtracts uh, three times the variation. So it kind of promotes active play. And, uh, and, and that, that's a very, very good uh, invention because uh, it doesn't allow for those very short runs. If you get like 15 wins in a row, you won't really get first place because you will still have that uh, very high variation. Yeah. And uh, you will have quite a low rating. So if, for example, you will have... Uh, you, you you have a you see a player that has a rating of I don't know like fifteen hundred, but for example uh, he only played uh, fifteen games and still has a very high variation. Uh, I would advise to play against uh, those, for example. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like like you, for example, I would very happily play against you, you right now because you have quite a, a huge rating and <laughs> I, I suspect it to be heavily inflated right now. So. Uh, <laughs> okay, we can do it after this, <laughs> the show, why not? <laughs> Maybe not now, I don't feel like... Hey look, I'm one of your notable victories. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, thank you yeah. for having That's faith nice. in me, but I don't think like making an idiot out of, of myself in front of all those people whom I watch, <laughs> watch me. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, anyway guys, I think this will cover the other subjects. Uh, I yeah. actually, that's pretty it that we would like to talk about today. So yeah, maybe uh, one one more thing that we should uh, say is that we are open to suggestions, and you can post in our uh, forum thread what you want to, uh, us uh, to cover. Also, uh, we might uh, consider uh, ha as having some guests uh, next week and the week after that. So you can also suggest who you would like to see on the show. And yeah, 
Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty much it right now. Yeah, uh, we, we choose some games from the top ladder play players, but there was also an idea to choose some uh, low level, level players who just would like to learn something. Uh, so if you feel like having uh, your game commentated for us and pointing all your mistakes and uh, and combining you with the dirt, then feel free to post your game on a forum and maybe we'll take a look on it. Uh, yeah. I think we even actually had some postings for this, but there just wasn't really enough time to investigate them. Yeah, but so maybe next week. And another suggestion I'd like to throw out there is maybe for future is we have a live broadcast game using no fog. So everyone can see all the moves as it goes on, maybe like on a small map so it's a short, quick match between a guest and maybe one of the hosts. And well, you don't really need the no fo no fog. I actually think that a game, uh, a live game with uh, with uh, fog, is a great idea. I actually tried it once. I actually failed because my recording uh, broke down once I tried it uh, uh, to record and commentate at the same time, uh, not as a, on a live stream, but uh, just on my computer. And uh, yeah, that that I think is a very good idea. Of course, the opponent would have to promise not to watch the stream. So that he wouldn't see all the moves. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's 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 the downside, uh, definitely. That is true. Well, maybe we could have some trusted people. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Like I yeah. don't think Master of Disaster would cheat too badly on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got but, uh, we've got suggestion from the audience to invite uh, Hey Hugh Hey. <laughs> Let's see if he will agree. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I I think uh, hearing uh, Hey Hey Uhe, uh it should be considered. I, I think hearing Hey Hey at, in Warlight would be like uh, one of the things that happens be, before, right before the apocalypse. You know, uh, <laughs> Remind like me where uh, is he from? Uh, Lithuania, Lithuania. Lithuania. Uh, but, but yeah, but basically, it's one of the things that I think uh, one would see right before the apocalypse. Apocalypse, you know. <laughs> Like uh, firestorms, demons, uh, hurricanes, <laughs> atomic bombs, and hey, hey, hey talking, really. Okay. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Um, so, thank you for having this uh, small talk with me. Uh, uh, and us. Okay, uh, hi. So, it's just uh, Mr. Gentleman uh, connection problem. We are still oh. here. Uh, okay, uh, thank you everyone who watched us, uh, s stay on the, how do you say it, <laughs> just stay uh, stay on the chat, stay on the uh, forum, watch for the news about this show, and I hope yeah. to see you in next episode, bye everyone. Yeah, see you next week, it's Shavengen signing out. And Latnok signing out, bye.